Welcome to Edisla. ZWO just dropped two autofocusers, retiring a classic. Do they bring true wireless freedom beyond ASI Air, or are they a new lock-in? We're decoding it all. Get ready for clarity on what's changed and what hasn't. First up is the EAFN, the refined classic. At first glance, it looks like the familiar 5V version we've known for years. However, a closer look reveals several thoughtful improvements. The old USB 2.0 port is gone, replaced with Type-C. This provides faster, more stable connectivity, which is especially beneficial if you're daisy-chaining multiple devices or running your setup through an ASI Air. While it won't speed up focusing itself, it significantly enhances connection reliability. The original EAF weighed about 277 grams. The new EAFN slims down to just 215 grams. This substantial trim is particularly valuable for travel rigs, portable mounts, or any build where every gram matters. The EAFN still utilizes the same 7.5 degree stepper motor, but the internal gear ratio has been tweaked from 1 to 120 to 1 to 128. ZWO claims micron level precision with this change. Looks great on paper, but would you really notice the difference? Tell us in the comments. The payload capacity remains at 5 kilograms, consistent with its predecessor. This is ample for most imaging setups. However, if you're working with a heavy Crayford focuser or a complex off-axis load, you might still be pushing its limits. In essence, the EAFN represents evolution, not revolution. It's a lighter, more polished, and more dependable version of a focuser that already performed well, simple, stable, and ready to integrate into nearly any system. Next up is the EAF Pro, the ecosystem-focused option. It shares the same core mechanics as the EAFN, but introduces features designed to stand out, particularly if you're embedded in the ZWO ecosystem. The standout feature is Bluetooth 5.0 enabling wireless control via ASI Air. This means no USB cables, no port juggling, and truly cable-free focusing. The catch? At initial reports, the Bluetooth functionality seems locked to ZWO's ecosystem and isn't exposed effectively to Windows ASCOM environments yet. We'll update if broader compatibility becomes available in future driver releases. A 2500 mAh built-in battery powers the EAF Pro. ZWO estimates six to seven nights of use on a single charge. For typical astrophotography sessions involving a few focus runs per night, this translates to roughly a week of cordless operation. Should the battery run low, a USB-C port provides a reliable fallback power option. The Pro model includes manual focus controls directly on the focuser body. This is a convenient addition for visual astronomers or anyone who prefers quick, hands-on adjustments without needing to open an app. It's not revolutionary, but it's a thoughtful touch. Despite these added features, the EAF Pro is only about 40 grams heavier than the EAF N, making it still lighter than the original EAF 5V. While the EAF Pro offers exciting new features, there are some significant trade-offs to consider. It's pricier, roughly $100 more than the EAF N. The integrated battery is sealed, meaning it will degrade over time and cannot be user replaced. However, you can always power the focuser via USB-C if needed. As mentioned, the wireless Bluetooth control is strictly limited to the ASI Air ecosystem. So don't expect a fully wireless operation with Nina yet, that capability isn't available in current drivers. Even as a pro model, the torque and precision are unchanged from the EAFN and even the original EAF 5V. The EAFN is what happens when you finally accept that USB 2 deserves a quiet retirement. It's the same trusty focuser, just cleaner, sleeker, and with a port that doesn't feel like a punishment. The EAF Pro? Same hardware, but now it speaks wireless. Not to everyone, of course, just to those inside the ZWO ecosystem. Very exclusive, very courageous. So how do you choose? If you want a no-fuss, modernized version of the classic EAF and don't care about wireless flair, go with the EAF N. It's simple, effective, and gets the job done. But if you're all in on Azier and chasing that truly cable-free workflow, the EAF Pro was built with you in mind. That said, if you're running platforms like Nina, Linux, or good old Windows, ask yourself, does the EAF Pro's wireless feature actually improve your setup? Or is it just a premium checkbox? One thing's for sure, the wireless focuser race is heating up. Expect cleaner design, smarter integration, and probably one that tries to make you coffee while auto-focusing, 
At the end of the day, the best focuser is the one that fits your workflow, not just what ZWO thinks it should be. We'd love to hear your take. Going pro? Staying with the N? Or waiting for something better to land? Drop your thoughts in the comments. ZWO hasn't reinvented the focuser, but they've definitely refined it. It's lighter, more polished, and increasingly ecosystem aware. Whether that fits your setup, that's the real question. Thanks for watching, and as always, clear skies and fewer cables.